Every now and then, something happens that changes the course of humanity. In this case, we have the perfect communion of the best thing to ever happen in modern and the worst thing to ever happen in modern. Both of them collide and bring us the most beautiful sight to ever show up in this channel. Introducing Titantron. Yes. Prime time and Karn. Best friends, BFFs forever. Worm coil, all is dust, of course, hanging out as well. Ulamog didn't want to stay at home. I'm walking ballista, whatever. But we are bringing together Primeval Titan and Karn Liberated. Tron Lands, the most hated, the most hated Reels estate, comes together with the most beautiful one in Basic Forest in Castle Garenbrig. What do we got here? This is the Nation Decklist Thursday, folks. And this is a beautiful, beautiful selection by Ash. Thank you so much, Ash. Um, what to say about this deck? What to say about this deck that isn't just obvious to the, to the eye? Um, this is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece right here. Um, yeah, Chromatic Sphere, Chromatic Star, fixing your mana, casting your Gracer in time, playing extra lands with Explorer, playing extra lands with Dryads, fetching for your Tron pieces, fetching for your Tron pieces, fetching for your Tron pieces, and I guess some threats even. Value. Value. Hell yeah. Uh, we have a bunch of one of lands as well. So we have Blast Zone, we have Castle Gerber, which we can of course fetch with Scrying or Expedition Map. We have a bunch of basics because we have to cast our green, ca our green cards. And then Ghost Quarter, Radiant Fountain, Sanctum of Ugin are our one offs that we can fetch with Expedition Map or Scrying. Scrying. Couple of Alakids to go alongside our Dryads of Deletion Grove if that's something that we want to be doing. Uh, but. This is something else, folks. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Neither do I, but I like I love every single second of this. Uh, in this level, we have Bojuki Bog against Graveyard Strategies, Cavern of Souls against Cavern Spells, Veil of Summers because Veil of Summer, Dragon's Claws and Thrakdusk against the aggressive strategies, Dismember against decks with creatures, Trini Sphere against a uh, spell-based combo, which is pretty much not existent right now. A uh, couple of Force and Vagors against Blood Moon and nonsense like that. Ugin the Spirit Dragon against decks that want to grind. Um, it's really, really hard for me to hide my excitement right now. So with that, I will tell you that if you're enjoying the content, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I cannot wait for round number one. And you probably cannot either. So I'll see you there. Round number one with Titan Tron. Is the world ready for Titan Tron? I mean, look at this hand. How can I ship this hand ever? How can anybody ever ship this hand? Look at this. We can get Tron and then we can't do anything with it. Like how awesome is that? I think I'm not gonna play the Gracer here with my opponent showing me Scalding Tron because I might want to cycle it next turn. Uh, in case I draw uh, any land, I can play my Dryad. Pull my face. Oh, we're playing against Burn. All right. Opponent isn't ready for this. I don't think anybody is, re is ready for this. I don't think anybody ever is ready for this. They're losing their mind right now. They have no idea what hit him. Thank you for the follow, Nightcrow. Bodo's Charm. 
Oh, I'm playing, I'm playing a consistent deck. Look at me and my consistent deck killing you on turn four every time. <laughs> We may be a little shy on the green sources, but, but, Dryad fixes that. Did that just happen? <laughs> uh, okay. finish the list right here J just finish the league right here we have had enough <laughs> we have had enough this is enough we don't need to we don't need to keep doing this anymore we're good <laughs> okay 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 let, let, let me <sighs> Let me let me get my shit together again. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, what should we cut here? Maybe an explorer. That was so incredible, man. That was that was that was everything. That was just everything. <sighs> Yeah, of course I'm keeping this hand. It's it's fucking perfect. Why would I ever bully in this hand? Gracer into Ursa's mine. <laughs> Gracer into Ursa's mine. Let's go. I'm gonna add Dragon's Claw into into Expedition Map here. <laughs> um, I guess we can scry in into Expedition Map, and then no, but then we can't thrust us on turn three. So si since we cannot thrust us on turn three, I think I'd rather get the Dragon's Claw going. <clears throat> Smash the smithereens. Okay. Please tell me we can get there on time. Uh, expedition map. I could get Radium Fountain here. I think I'm going to. Like, we have Titan Mana anyway, right? So, we have Radium Fountain. Gain two, Sylvan Scrying, for maybe a Tron piece. This doesn't do anything. I guess I might as well get an Ursus Power Plant. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I think I, I want to get, because I already have Titan Mana, so I'm going to get Valakut. 
which makes Dryad a more powerful draw. My dead here. I may be dead here. I am dead, okay. Life is not fair. Life is just not fair, Chad. Um, all right. This looks fine to me. I'm gonna cut the walking ballist, I guess. Maybe you again. How does anybody suffer against this? I don't know. I mean, they got this match to Smithereens in the nick of time. <clears throat> yeah, maybe Explorer is better than the Walking Ballista. You're right. Than the Dugin. Yeah, I think I like the Explorer better. This is okay. This is everything you could ever want. This was Among Us, I would clearly be the imposter. The dream is still alive? Very much so. We got the Thrag Daddy. <laughs> Some people crying to their psychologist. <laughs> uh, they will not know what hit him. The memes are so strong, man. The memes are so strong. <clears throat> I think I want to go turn one Valak and turn two, turn two uh, Dragon's Claw. It forces my opponent to immediately have the how this matches me. If they do, they do, but kind of is what it is. Thrak Tusk off the top. Please don't have um, smash the smithereens. So then next turn we can scry in for a tromp. Never mind, there's the trompies that we needed. Awesome. Um, Expedition maps they go. <clears throat> Have I got a cyber guy for this deck? I mean, obviously, it's going to be in the works very soon. Revolt. Eidolon. Always yes, always yield. Power plant? Sure. So let's get. Um, tower, power plant, mine. There was an argument for Radiant Fountain there, honestly. Huh. Well, that's just great, isn't it? Well, that is just great, isn't it? Opponent knows about the Thrag Daddy. Opponent knows about the Thrag Daddy, so I'm assuming they have another land skull crack here.
So we just kill them here? We still inscribe for Valakut? Second Dryad, yeah, that's just lethal. Sweet. Um, two, three. Play Second Dryad first. Then Sylvan Scrying for Valakut. Valakut, yup, base. Raise, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Balakut, your face. <sighs> everything about this, every single thing about this is just magical. Every single thing about this is just magical. See you for the next round. Welcome to round number two with Modern's new best deck. Yeah, I'm keeping this hand, hell yeah. <laughs> this is too great, man. This is too great. <laughs> Guess we're playing against blue white or something. <clears throat> oh no. Uh let's play expedition map. Make it counter. It's fine, whatever. Manly. You got it. Here's a Castle Garen break, go! Opponent has no idea what hit him. Yes, yes, look at the hand. <laughs> Please look at the cards, opponent. <laughs> Please look at the cards. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to hold it together for the entire league, man. <laughs> much this is too much <sighs> um i guess we want a greaser here <clears throat> i imagine this is gonna get countered Sure. Take the Champerino. Game three. We're playing 24 lands, so we can just like naturally hit all land drops and eventually get there. Uh, I guess I'm getting Ursus Mine. Sure. This whole deck is loose, exactly. That's the whole point. 
That is exactly the whole point of this. <clears throat> Feel of ruin. Sounds good. Kind of monstrosity walking on. Ah, modern steer zero deck. Well, th they know about the Titan because they clicked me. So they know that's why they're not like straight up taking the the field of ruin because they know that it is a primeval Titan in my hand. So they're trying to figure out. Wait, do I actually want to do this? I guess they figure that I do. Here's a dryad. <laughs> This deck is a masterpiece. This deck is an absolute masterpiece. I mean, we got Titan mana now. I'm gonna lead on Worm Coil though. Um, I guess I could play another Dryad. Nah. It's probably gonna eat a cryptic command. Which is fine. Resolves. Just gonna path it. Probably okay with that. <clears throat> I need to lay off the acid. <laughs> And eight we go. Click is just so good, man. I'm playing the scrying first because they don't know if I if this is a land. And what I can do here with this scrying, I'm gonna get Valakid. <clears throat> Play a second one of these. And this just stops my opponent's clock. So many angles! So many angles. <laughs> Titan Tron's got everything. Titan Tron has got everything. Titan Tron has got everything. <clears throat> Kill that one. I could go score to myself if I need to. I don't think I need to. <laughs> Gonna get people to see my likes run the trail like that. That's fair. <clears throat> <clears throat> Why do we feel like we're strangely ahead? Because Dryad is busted. Another prime time. Um, that's probably gonna get countered. I think I'm gonna go for Karn. Because this is the turn that I don't die. <clears throat> so this is the turn where we can, like, I can tap out. Next turn I'm probably gonna need to hold on to the Ghost Quarter. For some negation. Okay. <clears throat> so we need to play Scrying Amulet or map with Trinket Mage. <clears throat> it's not that crazy. Fairy. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The funniest thing is my opponent can't do anything right now because they, if they feel me, they give me Titan mana. Unless they feel the castle, which is just bad for them. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to get fielded on instep. <laughs> Are we just winning here? Is that what's going on right now? Am I just like randomly winning right now? Is that what's going on? Kind of want to hold on to this solace dust. <laughs> they have not played the land yet. The Italian Stallion, thank you for the follow. This is just lethal. How hilarious is that, man? Like, this is just so funny what's happening right now. Like, they have to bat my triad, otherwise they lose. If the Archmage's charm, they lose. <laughs> they Meta League, they lose. One, two, three. Price of progress incoming, yeah. <laughs> uh, blue white, you say, huh? So we want this, probably want that one, probably want these, <clears throat> want that one, and we want these ones. That's it. What do we not want? We do not want gracers. Um, I guess I. I don't think I want Bojuga Bob, actually. Definitely want to cut a land. Probably the castle. I'll just cut Radiant Fountain. They don't have Vendelium click, though. Usually when they have click... Yeah, let's cut the castle instead. Uh, well, Dryad is busted. As we just experienced. Um... Can we cut all this dust to Reno? The Mog sounds great. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to tune Omnath to deal with this nonsense? Oh, the Worm, you're right. Yeah, the Worm can go. We have better threats. Um, also, one thing that's important is that all this dust triggers Sanctum of again, which I, I had forgotten. Is this a Dono deck? 
Um, yes, it is a deck by Ash, uh, who's a uh, Song of the Elders. <sighs> Too funny. Um, I think I'm just cutting the steerings. They're like the worst card, right? <laughs> I guess. They probably have to be mindful of something like Ashiok. I love that we also have Cavern of Souls in the side where it's just like... <laughs> this deck is an absolute mess. Let's ship this. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect hand. Uh, probably ship the Explore? Ship a ship star effect. Cycling, cycling. This four mana card is player in amulet, seven mana card has to be great. I mean, it, it only stands to logic, right? Honestly, it's, it's one plus one plus one equals seven, right? Cycle for green. Explore. Snare. Okay. <clears throat> Field of ruin. A weird timing to do something there, but be afraid, opponent, be afraid. We're going to this deck is confusing the opponent until they concede. That's kind of the idea, yeah. What are these in a beautiful place if Titan Tron can exist? I mean, I, can, I am expecting our Heliod matchup to be very, very good. I'll say that much. This is the sign of a healthy format, indeed. Indeed. I'm gonna minus my Dryad. Look at my opponent's confidence that I don't have castle into that I don't have castle into Titan. Any land would be great here. <clears throat> hmm. I think I want to get cavern, but I'm not gonna play it yet. We do have the Dryad anyway, so. <clears throat> Just play a random copy of Heliod. Yeah, yeah, so you can give your Thructus lifelink. Or you can give your Womb Call engine lifelink. Or you can give your Ulamog lifelink. Right, right. East. What you gonna do, opponent? Draw two. Okay. Hmm. 
You should balance my track task opponent. You should definitely, definitely balance my track task. <clears throat> This is the best format, Chief. It's a format called Modern. <clears throat> Fairy? You want a minus? Please minus? No minus? I shall attack your Jace to my sculptor. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Wait, what the hell? That's the reaction that we were going for here. I am... If my opponent doesn't counter this Ballista, I'm just trading it straight up for the Jace. They're probably going to counter it, I'm assuming. I don't think I can afford for my opponent to on top of Jace there. <clears throat> Amulet burn. I mean, I remember when they, they put Oko in burn, right? So if putting Oko in burn was a good idea, I can't imagine how putting Tron in Amulet or or Primeval Titan in Tron can't be a good idea. It only stands to reason, honestly. I'm gonna give my opponent something to counter here. Then we can all this dust next turn. I guess I don't want to. Uh, maybe I do want all this dust now. <clears throat> Do I always this or do I Karn? <laughs> I'm not gonna crack here. Can crack with all this dust. Hmm. Why is the word big restricted? I have no idea, Chief. This is going to be the oldest dust turn. And this time we are cracking. Don't counter it. Damn it. I think I'm just going to conceal now. No need to show them more. We probably can't beat the, the Shark Typhoon. The Shark Typhoon is going to clock us very quickly. Um, do I want Trinisphere? 
Probably not. We have veils. Quaint words of one big vex streamer, such a winner. Chief is very much a winner. <clears throat> Sounds perfect, so I'll keep it. I think we go with turn one chromatic star. And then we can explore on two. Then we can explore into map. If we find any land. That's any land. Please don't snare me, bro. They can just have spell snare or three games, right? That's just not fair. I told you they couldn't. Expedition House probably gonna get Cavern of Souls. If it resolves, of course. <laughs> Forgot the one bounce land for Cavern for Valley with Silver Screen Expedition Map. Yeah, that's that's potentially a consideration. Lol. What tower art am I using? Um it's the one that I had. I don't even know which one it is. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna pass here. Because with any land, now we get to crack expedition map for cavern and we get to resolve prime time. Prime time finds the rest. <clears throat> you just admit I own Tron. Yeah, I do. I own the cards, I own I own everything. Is this V click? This is the best possible draw for my opponent. Still probably not gonna be enough. Unless they have Gusto, they could have Gusto into Jace. They probably have to take one of these prime times. They take Karn instead? Wow. Do they have Aether Gust? That's the only explanation that makes sense, but they, they're gonna need a lot of Aether Gusts. Oh no, Celestial Colonnade. With SES run. Either gust or bust. That's not an either gust. So what are we missing? We're missing tower and we can get Sanctum of again. <laughs> I've never, I've never before gotten Sanctum of Ugin plus Ursus Tower off of a Primeval Titan. That's the first time right there. That is the first time right there, I'll tell you. So next turn, we just get to Karn into second prime time. Is that what's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. <laughs> Monastery Mentor. Oh, you're tapping out? Well, that's very good for us. So now we just get to Dryad plus prime time. In fact, do we, is this just lethal? I think this may just be lethal. Dryad. I mean, it is the it is what they can do. 
It's not like my opponent has many other options right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a primeval titan. <laughs> this is a couple of alligators. Um, should I kill their stuff? I'm just gonna kill their face. Now nah, let's just kill the mentor because my opponent thought that they were they could get away with this with a silly monastery mentor. Three, four, five, six. You know what costs six mana, chat? You know what costs six mana? One, two, three, four, five. And six. <laughs> Dude, th these troll lands are pretty busted. These troll lands are pretty busted. I'm thinking we should consider putting them in the amulet. They seem like they could do some powerful stuff. We're 2 0. We're 2 0 right now. We are 2 0. <laughs> Welcome to round number three with Titan Tron. Is Titan Tron busted? Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. The good thing is like it's kind of like a Drassi Tron where when if, if you have like a medium hand, it's just fine. Like you don't need to have Tron in order to in order for your deck to function, really, because you have a bunch of mid-range threats. Now that Flood is Strand Gamer. This is too much for me, especially for MH2, too much to take in. This is the content that you are all craving for, but didn't know. But didn't know you were craving for. So unlucky, honestly. Uh... Disrupting show, pitching disrupting show. Sounds good. Opponent went top top with their lands though. Is this like mono blue control or some nonsense like that? Delver. Not countering my explore. Silence crying. Force of negation beating ba pitching vapor snag. My opponent is just two for one in themselves over and over again. And then I'm just gonna hard cast a Titan on turn five. And have <laughs> you let Delver next? Wow, my opponent is a cheater. They just flip, blind flip Delver, just like that. That's so unrealistic. I think we're just getting the Trumpies here. We could get Blast Zone? Oh, Blast Zone is sick. It just straight up stops my opponent's clock. Yeah, that sounds good. Now the cavern is in the board. But now my opponent knows that I have an answer to the Delver, but if they tap out, they lose to the prime time. <laughs> 
between a rock and a hard place. Tapping out. Okay. So we're taking five here. If they have bold bolt, I die. If they have bold bolt, I die. But I think that's fine. Gabriel Ray's thinking about the follow. And this is the moment where my opponent goes like, wait, wait, what? That is the key moment where they're like, Ex excuse me, what? Uh, power plant and mine? Yeah. Vesuva copying fountain. Well, I'm just gonna be able to attack get uh, what's his name and then i can go with Velesta. so i can uh, get sanctum of Bugin, i play karn i suck the sanctum i kill the minus three karn the sprite dragon and then i ballista the the delver they didn't bolt me so i guess i'm not dead this turn Sanctum and power plant, I guess. It's kind of whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think I'm gonna play around Mana Leak. So good, man. So good at this game. So good at this game. <sighs> so good at this game. Yeah, I'm totally sniping my opponent. Like, it's like I read them. My opponent's like this. It's an open book. An open book, and I just read it. From cover to cover. Yeah, concede opponent. Fuck it up. Why Ballista when I have Blast Zone? Because it doesn't cost me a land. Um... Maybe one dismembers. Thrag Daddy seems great. Cavern seems great. Close quarter seems bad. I guess it did cost me the Sanctum, but the, the Sanctum was in play already. Yeah, maybe maybe the Ballista was was not as good as the other thing. It doesn't matter. El Carno out. Veils. Three ball. I don't think that three ball is gonna be good enough on the play. That's the issue that I have with it. I am not afraid of Terramander. Like I'm not gonna be bringing in Bojuki Bob for Terramander. Dragon's Claw is interesting. I probably don't want it. They probably don't have enough. They are probably mostly blue, not so red heavy. No answer for Moon. Can my opponent even afford to play Blood Moon in their deck?
Maybe they have spell beers. Maybe they, they have fours. It's whatever is fine. Sure. I'll take it two for one. Well, my opponent doesn't have a Sprite Dragon in play. We never had turn three Tron so far. That probably means that I'm super, super unlucky, right? It has to mean that I'm super, super unlucky. I guess I'm not that good of a Tron player. Opponent going for the never play a threat strategy. It's a very interesting strategy for sure. It's a very, very interesting strategy. Stifle? Like, whatever, yeah. All right. What a god! What a freaking god, man! <laughs> what a freaking god! Best Tron player ever! Best Tron player ever! And I think I'd rather play around Mana League there than playing around uh, Lightning Bolt. It, it turned out that it didn't quite work, but I still think it was correct to do that. Oh, man. That is awesome. That is awesome. Opponent still has not... has not played a single threat. Cycle for green. Play Valakut, say go. I'm keeping both stars because if I draw a prime time, I want to make sure that I can cast it. Now we can go find Cavern, which is nice. Oh. Awesome. I'm starting to understand why people play Tron. Like, this is just too easy. I wonder if it gets boring. I wonder if it gets boring because it's just too easy. Drunk with power. <laughs> Flattening people never gets boring. I can see that. I can see getting used to this. I can see getting used to this. I'm playing my land first, so I can use I can make sure I can use Veil for a vapor snag or something. Three and oh. Three and oh. Almost too easy. 3-0, baby. Sitting pretty. Sitting pretty at 3-0. Yeah, sure, I'll keep this. It 
Is there everything I would change from the deck? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Ash, Ash brought the original idea, which looked something like this. Let me see if I can find it real quick. So, this was the original idea. So this version had like Boros Garrison, Stronghold, Sun Home, and it had Amulet. Uh, but I, I thought that the Amulet thing is just is just not gonna come up. So and I wanted more green sources. So I added the castle and I added more uh, more forests. I also added uh, ancient steerings. I don't. I'm not sure ancient steerings are particularly great. Um, but the core is very similar. I also cut a couple of um, gracers for explorer because I think gracers, you know, has especially in the deck like this, it has some pretty pretty uh, steep um, diminishing returns. When it moves to five, then go Sacred Foundry tapped, so very likely dredge. That's not the missing Trump piece. Would I rather have Castle Garenbrig or another Ursus Tower? I think I'd rather have the green source. The only extra idea is add one bounce land since it's fetchable. Yeah, um, adding a bounce land could be interesting. What day do you play Legacy? Is there a specific day? Yeah, Wednesdays. I played Legacy yesterday. Played three leagues with Green Red Reclaimer. Went 3 2 4 1 4 1. Losing the, the 5 0 in the most spectacular fashion I've ever lost the 5 0. It was pretty glorious. So, unsurprisingly, this is Dredge. I think they got a Loman Thug. It's a significant amount of power. A chill and 7 power. When do I plan on playing the Sound of Silence? Uh, I don't know steps. I thought I may have time to do it today, but it ended up not working out, unfortunately. Is that what I'm missing? That is what I'm missing, right? Power plant. I'm being an amoeba. Or I can just uh, pass the turn, and I can no, because then I can I can current liberate it. So we're gonna ping here. Take six. Our best stop deck is probably Dryad. We may just be dead now, though. Bog is in the sideboard. So game one, we are in a little bit of a pickle.
Am I really one minute short here? That sucks. Because I probably have to Karn this turn. I probably have to Karn Minus on the Amalgam. I think I'm going to be one mana short, though, to map next turn. Because this is seven mana right now, so I can Karn. And then next turn is two mana to map, and I can get a tower, which is gonna be plus one mana, so I'm gonna be one mana short. Oh, I can map right now. I can map right now. So three mana, we get another tower, then one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So I can map first, actually because I have not made my land drop yet. <laughs> so I can map right now for another Ursus Tower. Play Tower. Karn. Exile that. <laughs> we may still be dead, probably. I imagine we're still dead. Because my opponent has a conflagrate in the yard. Yeah, the creeping chill is, is bad for us. <sighs> Down to eight. They didn't dredge loan though, so they don't have enough to enough to lethal me. They have two conflax, however, so they can lethal me next turn. <laughs> I think we're gonna lose anyway, which is very unfortunate. We have to dodge. I guess we can, if my opponent doesn't kill Ballista, we get to ping Narcomiva now. We can mog them next turn. If they don't kill the Karn, we can keep them with no lands. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's just lethal. Yeah, that's just lethal. They had exaxes. <laughs> Brutal. Bodjuki Bog, Ugin. Rock Daddy. Cut the Carnos. Force is interesting. I think we're not gonna bring it in here. I suppose a little lacking against Dredge. Uh, well, um, the thing is that Karn doesn't stabilize as we just saw right there. And Explore uh, digs towards my threats. I think I'm keeping this, but I'm going to turn one Chromatic Star because I have Silence Grind in hand already. So I'm gonna go with Chromatic Star turn one as opposed to going with Expedition Map.
We're playing 24 lands, which is a lot more than the average Tron deck. But I'm also a Luxac, so. We're missing mine. Good old turn three worm call. <clears throat> so they got Loam, they got Thug, and they got Imp. Funny enough, I kind of need my opponent to not blow up this Chromatic Star. Because <laughs> that's the green mana for my Dryad. <laughs> Can we add some dredge to this deck and Splendid Reclamations for value? I don't see why not. Clearly everything is working, so... I don't see why we would not be able to add those cards. One, two, three, four, five. So another Imp. Us being on the play, big deal here. Worm Call turn three, Titan turn four. Exactly, the perfect curve. We can't really Titan though, which is unfortunate. Unless we find a green source. What's this, an ox? They did melee grudge, so we may be in trouble here. Your hand was very strong. Imp, imp, thug. So we're probably gonna expedition map for would you get bog? They're gonna get two amalgams, which is fine. My worm's gonna die here. To the grudge. Been a couple of dudes, and now. Cycle for green. We find a green source, we just get to Titan, which is nice. If we don't find a green source, we can just try it and we can expedition map for um, for Bog. Is that a green source? That is a green source. Look at that. It's Titan mana. <laughs> Took a bug. Radiant Fountain? Uh, I guess I want the green source, so I'm just gonna go with Jukebug Basic Forest. It's quite hilarious. Next turn, we should win. 
Yargo. Oh, I could have cracked the map. That's fine, though. I don't think I wanted to anyway. Because I don't know what I'm looking for just yet. Turn 3, Worm. Turn 4, Titan. My opponent never knew what hit him. Really? Like, I, I had perfect info on the topic exactly Cathartic Reunion right there. <laughs> they top decked exactly Cathartic Reunion. That was the only card I did not know about. Wow. One day I wish to be as lucky. Never cheated for Dredge before and I don't think I'll start now. I don't think anybody has ever cheated for Dredge before. We're a 3-0 with this pile. That's true. That's true. Do I run Besuva? No. But I kind of wish I did. I kind of wish I did run Vesuvo. Can we assemble lethal here? I mean, worst case scenario, we can assemble enough to stabilize, so. We can deal 12 plus 6, 5 if my opponent chumps. Then we can potentially explore. We have Radiant Fountain, so we can gain three. I think it's gonna be better for me to clear the board. And play a Thruck Tusk. Because my opponent could draw. Oh, they're out of chills. But they still have one con flag. So I think I'm just like, they are gonna deck themselves and they're dead next turn anyway. So I'm just gonna go with, I'm just gonna clear their board. Yes, yes, yield. And we can go get a Radiant Fountain with this map. So we crack map, get Radiant Fountain, and then we uh, Thrag Daddy. Crack this. Radiant Fountain. Kill that three you. So I guess we get to explore for free. Sure. Might as well. Turn off from the fetch crack. There's no fetch. There's no fetch land. How am I three now? I have no idea, Rutilio. No idea. I think this looks fine. We are in the draw, so this one's gonna be very rough. Double Explore may have hit lands. I mean, it may. 
we have a, the dreaded dryad hand. I'm gonna keep it because dryad, you know? I'm gonna keep it because dryad, you know? Can I make Will Hall play this? I mean, Will will play whatever he wants. Will should play this. I don't know if he will, but he definitely should. Put him move to five every single game. Here I'm just taking any land here. I'm just taking Blast Zone. Because I can go turn two, scrying for Bog, dry out turn three plus Bog. So we need to dodge my opponent having a not so turn right now. If we can manage my uh, dodging my, uh, if we can dodge my opponent not having a, an insane turn right here. So we need them to kind of whiff here. And I guess the best draw would be just the Natty Bog. Lone Thug Amp, yeah, they, they just luck sacked. We have to find the Natty Bog right now. Just don't have time. Natty Bog, please, Natty Bog. Yeah, it's just too slow. Because they conflagrate, it's gonna kill my dryad. I guess that we can scry in here. So, okay, okay, it's not. All hope is not lost just yet. All hope is not lost just yet. They're probably gonna go for ox here. Because that gets back both amalgams. No. There's the ox. I think we're just going to be one turn too slow, which is brutal. Gnome, Imp, Imp. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Whew, this is close. Then we just go forest into dryad bog, exile yard. We block price amalgam. We take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then next turn we go castle, titan, double valakit, clear their entire board. They have conflict. Yeah, I have Bojuga Bog. So I have to... I guess I can play the... T I'm gonna play the forest.
Just gonna have to dodge here. So they're probably gonna play the loam here, get back nothing to get their engine going again. And if we dodge the one turn, if we dodge the one turn, we can win. We have to dodge Crip and Chill one turn only. We're one land, one land drop away from just lethaling them. Um, what if we get Radium Fountain here? If I get Radium Fountain, we only get to kill three of their dudes. Yeah, but that's just worse. That's worse. So I think we just have to we just have to dodge. We just have to dodge. We have to dodge um Crip and Chill. If they if they find chill, I lose. Um well, I guess I can I can kill Ox. If I kill Ox, Miva, Miva, that's better. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's do that, I guess. So, Vala Good Radiant Fountain, Ox, Miva. Always yes, always yield. Play second land, kill another Narco Miva. And now we block both amalgams. We have to dodge a conflagrate with the loam. We lose to conflag, but one of them is gone, so there's only one conflag left in the deck. Loam. That's big. I think we may have stabilized here. Are we gonna be 4 0 with Titan Tron? I think we're about to be 4 0, Chad. We have to think here, though. We have to think. We have to think. Um, how much mana do we have access to? I'm going to be able to get this. What I can do... Oh, but we have Thraktas to help stabilize. Yeah, I was thinking of getting Sanctum. But I don't think getting Sanctum does really anything. I'd rather play Thraktas anyway. So because I'd rather play Thraktas, I think I'm going to get the mine so I can have Tron and I can have more nonsense to do right now. So we're going to get Ursa's mine. Kill that. Kill that. Face. Face. Because this opens me up for lethal. So my opponent can block here. 
If they don't block, we have a redraw towards uh, just winning. So they don't block. So now I get to play Chromatic Star, cycle for green. If we find any land, we just win. That's any land. Face, face. Sylvan's crying for anything. Sanctum of Boogian. Face. Face. 4 and 0 with Titan Tron. 4 and 0 with Titan Tron. 4 and 0 with Titan Tron. Can we do this? Can we 5 0 with this? Can we 5 0 with this? Oh my god. I'll see you for the last round. All right, it's the moment of truth. It is the moment of truth. And we're keeping this hand, obviously. Please, please tell me that we get to 5-0. Please tell me that we get to 5-0 here. It is, it is the only thing that I want. You know what I'm thinking? I think I'm thinking that I'm not gonna play Karn on turn three because it can get leaked. What are the chances my opponent has mana leak instead of remand? Because we get to go for Ulamog, and then Ulamog is probably going to win. <laughs> Markham with the Prime sub, welcome back for the third month. Seriously, I enjoy every single bit of your content, but I have to say this might be my favorite bit so far. Dude, this is wild. What does Vista mean? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It probably means Scape Shift. I won't have Ulubog mana after, that's fine. Like I, I can have Ulubog mana like three turns later. That's that's whatever. I think I'm just gonna play Tron and I'm gonna pass. And I'm gonna Karn next turn after I can crack the Sanctum. And I'm playing the land because I don't want my opponent to be able to bounce it with something or whatever, you know? Let us wait for the mana, I guess. So smart. So smart. If we find the green source, we're doing really well, actually. So I think we might be playing against a Bring to Light deck, but they're playing Mana Leak. Going for a green source here. And they should be mana leak, so I guess that I'm gonna steerings right now. Sure. Guess that's a threat. Um <clears throat> Those shown them dry it. Okay, so it probably is the Ring to Light deck. Uh, very surprised to see Manali because Manali is just 
horrendous in that deck, but maybe they're they're trying some things out, I guess. Well, I'm obviously going for Ulamog because I want to get rid of my opponent's pretty lands. We're getting rid of both. Getting rid of the island, obviously, because I want my opponents. Maybe they have Cryptic Command, maybe they don't, I don't know, whatever. They do have Cryptic Command. Counter draw. Okay. Double Storm Rain is still pretty good. They're tapping out for something? It's good for me. <laughs> Silly opponent not playing around Dryad into Primeval Titan. Silly opponent not playing around Dryad into Prime Time. Come on, opponent, how are you not gonna play around right into prime time? You know better than this. You should know better than this, opponent. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am missing some value. I'm keep I'm keeping up here. Check it out. Surprise, motherfucker. There we go. They get back their land. I mean, if they have verdict, we are in trouble here. Wow. Opponent confirmed Luxac. We're kind of out of gas here. Um, guess I should have gone face instead of going to the Ren, huh? Um, definitely want to get a sick on green source. I don't think I want to GQ their forest. Like they're still super far away. If they are playing, if they're playing, uh, what's his name? Which I'm not even sure of. So all this does would be a pretty solid draw. All this does would be a pretty good draw. Um, Dryad would win, I think. Oh, they may be playing the McQueen sauce list. That's what it is. I think they are playing the McQueen sauce list. Uh, not McQueen sauce, uh, Doom Switch. They are playing the Doom Switch list. No GQ. Uh, no, I want to hold it in hand because if I find the Dryad, the Ghost Squad I've been in my hand is lethal. So I get to play two lands. 
<laughs> Never won a 5 0 more in thy life. Yeah, same, same, same here. Uh, well, I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I think my opponent has scape shift? Uh, no, I don't think my opponent has scape shift because if they had scape shift, I was already dead because of the Omnath trigger. So I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna block because that makes my opponent's helix and bolts uh, kill my titan. So we don't want that probably. Just have another verdict. They could have another verdict, but if they have verdict, that's kind of fine. Sick on Nomnath, okay. If we don't try it off the top, I think we're going to win. Unless my opponent has a way to kill the Dryad, I guess. Dryad, one time. All this Dusterino. Guess we chill on that one. No, I'm not going to give up my Titan. I'm not going to give up my Titan. That's for sure. Now we can always dust if we have to. We want to make sure we keep one basic forest in the deck. Ugh, that sucks. Also, Utopia's Pearl seems so bad in their deck. It's a terrible draw. No, we only have one Sanctum and we only have one of the Mog. So they are gone. Gone forever. Lamb Bear, thank you for the follow. Point is not blowing up the Valak. It's like, oh no, Ren is so insane. So they can kill both Valakuts and I'm I'm in super rough shape. Ugh, vomit. Maybe I should have been up taking that blast zone actually. Okay, dry right it off the top. One time. We want to keep the forest in the deck so I can go score myself if I have to. So we have another Karn. We have a couple more prime times. Dryad just doesn't do anything anymore. So I guess I'm gonna fetch my basic now. So I don't draw it. Sylvan's Crying is not very good. <laughs> We're running out of stuff to do with all of this stuff. My opponent seems to be a little bit um, short on stuff to do as well.
Load that up. So they have Field of Ruin. They only have four basics. Five basics. <laughs> um, find mine. Can this worm coil go the distance? No! No, it can't. Double helix. Hmm. It's probably not getting better for me, right? Okay, no more lands in the deck. No more lands in the deck. No Snapcaster, please. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Got there. Freaking got there. Okay, give me that cover and give me those veils. Get that Gracer out of here. I want Thrag Daddy and I want Ugin. Can probably shave this bad boys. I'm gonna cut the Radiant Fountain. One more cut, probably the Explorer. I think I'm keeping this hand. Natitron, Cavernous Souls. Strong start. Strong start from a point for sure. I can't resist. This may be a meme, but there's only one way to find out, right? No, they have a Ren. Well, obviously this didn't pay off. <laughs> Is this really happening right now? Easy turn six Titan, yeah, easy. And control at that. If you could go 25 and it would still be a meme. Yeah, but that's the point. That's why this is so exciting. That's why there is so much on the line here. Cleansing Wildfire. I think my opponent is thinking that they're playing against Tron here. And they're not playing against Tron, they're playing against Titan Tron. And you know how much Titan Tron cares about having Tron? The answer is not so much. <laughs> The answer is 
Not so much. We we don't care that much, no. <laughs> we we really really don't. To be fair, who the hell knows how to play against Titantron? I don't know. Maybe some somebody extremely 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 savvy. Do we actually just win next turn? Yes, we we do. We are winning. If my opponent has nothing here. They showed me Path to Exile, they showed me um they showed me uh, Wrath of God and Supreme Verdict, sorry. So they have answers to stuff. Helix is not going to cut it, though. How can I get blown out here? I can't, right? Gonna force my opponent to do something. I'm going for lethal. I am definitely going for lethal here. The Titan Tron Master! The Titan Tron Master! The Titan Tron Master. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Yes. Yes. All of you here have really, 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 really seen something special. And I cannot find the, the clap thing. <laughs> there we go. Finally. Is this glorious? Yes, yes, it is glorious. It is indeed. It is. It is. Yeah, and I can even hook you up with a with a nice little surprise, motherfucker. Who? Be honest with me. Who had faith? Which one of you had faith on Titantron? Because I sure as hell didn't. <laughs> so let's let's get a nice little screenshot here for the for the for the Twitters. All right, the only thing I will say, Ash, is when you buy your cards for Titantron, make sure you use the TCG Play affiliate link so you can support the stream for free while you do so. Is this the, just the most glorious 5-0 of all time, right? This is, this is the most glorious 5-0 of all time. It, it, it just is. All of the believers who voted yes, all of the believers who voted that we were going to be getting a 5-0, getting handsomely rewarded right now. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful indeed. So obviously the deck 5-0, so it's perfect. So I wouldn't change a card. Uh, that actually, that may not be true. So I think we want something like Relic of Progenitus. <laughs> I could see having access to a couple of these effects. Um, we were a little bit short on green sources a couple of times, so I wonder if we can, if we simply just cannot afford to play Gracer and we just have to play more like Steering's Explore kind of stuff. Oh, Vesuva. Vesuva is nice, yeah. Whoops. Vesuva and potentially Bounce Land were the only two things, but I think Vesuva is going to be better than Bounce Land in this deck anyway. Why not Karn the Great Creator? I don't know. We could definitely play Karn the Great Creator. Very, very much. But at, at some point you're starting to get... Uh, the problem with Karn is that we don't have that many ways of triggering Sanctum of Ugin, right? 
So what Karn is nice at doing alongside all his Dust and Ballista, all, these are the cards that trigger Sanctum, so we can go with Ulamog or the one of Wormco. So that's kind of what's up. I don't think I would cut the Dick Racer for lands though. I think that we could go up at 25th land for sure. Um, but like I would probably add maybe another Explorer or another Ancient Steerings. Steerings is kind of medium in this deck though. So I think Explorer may just be better. We could also just play, you know, another real card instead. So by a real card, of course, I mean, you know, something that we can fetch off of uh, Sanctum. Reclaimer, Reclaimer's hot. No, Reclaimer, no, probably not. Um, another Karn, yeah, probably. That may just be the correct choice, actually. The only thing that I find very problematic is how smooth the deck was. The deck was smooth as silk. We we never like really struggled because of like something or um like we didn't really get mana screwed. We we got a little bit threat screwed on that last game against the the, the four color control deck. Like we almost just ran out of stuff to do. So that's uh, probably the only problematic thing, which is what made me want to add another copy of Karn, maybe. Um, but like. I, what I love is the fact of how diverse our expedition map and, and Silver Scryings were. Like, we weren't always going to find uh, to find the, the Ursa's lands. Like, in fact, we very often were not finding Ursa lands. And we used expedition map and Silver Scrying to find stuff like Bujukuba, which ended up being game-winning. Cavern of Souls, which also ended up being game-winning. Um, we used it to go get Sanctum of Ulgin, which also ended up being game-winning. So, like, the fact that even Valakut, we, we did, um, one of, in one of the early matches, we did uh, Expedition Map or Scrying for Valakut to make our dry at least also. It's so awesome. I have to click the predict prediction results. Hell yeah. I love how everybody, everybody just... Um, it says submission is closed. Waiting for a result. Does anybody know how to do this? Anyway, I'm gonna close the YouTube video and then I, I will pay up. Uh, but yeah, it was it was surprisingly smooth and it was surprisingly flexible. Like it, it felt a lot more toolboxy than Tron, which is just not toolboxy at all. Um, I could see maybe a second copy of Uldebog. That is one card that I probably kind of wish I had access to a second copy. But um, yeah, this was hilarious. This was absolutely, absolutely hilarious. Um, not sure whether Force of Vigor is the way to go. Maybe something like Nature's Claim is just better. Because uh, the thing about Nature's Claim is that it... Oh, uh, Wilt. Wilt is what the Tron players are playing now. So this could be the... But, like, we don't care about Blood Moon that much, really. Trinisphere just seems pretty... just bad. Dragon's Claw is probably necessary. And Ugin against Go White Strategies. An extra threat against Control. The Cyborg is definitely the, the toughest part, it feels like. But yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it half as much as I did. I, I, would, be, I would be happy with half as much. Uh, but this was probably one of the best donation deck lists we have gone ever. Maybe ever. Uh, but this was th thoroughly enjoyable, and the meme was just absolutely, absolutely hilarious. Um, see you for the next round. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And not see you for the next round. See you for the next video is what I meant to say. So I will see you there. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.